So we're at one of our conference centers because I want to show you something. I've been hearing all sorts of people say like, oh my gosh, there's this big like dividing line in this country that's starting. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer and the middle class going away and there's the haves and the have-nots and honestly, I think 100% that in five years there is, is going to be a gigantic dividing line in this country. I don't think that it's going to be between the haves and the have-nots. I think the dividing line is going to be between the people who do and the people who watch. Because there's no shortage of ways to make money in this world. So the only question is, are you willing to do something to create more options or are you just going to stand by and watch? Here's, let me introduce you to a couple doers. This is what a doer looks like. Check this out. This is Michelle, young and free, 22 years old. College student, stud at athlete, and you know what you realize? Yeah, I want to excel in college, but that's just four years. I want to excel in a vehicle where I can do that the rest of my life. And she did more than most college students are willing to do. Young and free at 22. Derek Kosek, coming out of school, played some D1 soccer, had all sorts of opportunities where he could continue to go down that path, but instead of doing what everyone expected him to do, he, say, he figured, you know what, what do I want my life to look like? Let's create the foundation that I want for my life, not what everyone expects me to do. This is cool. Nicole, check this out. Young and free at 26, her and her husband Mike, bachelor's degree, master's, all this stuff, awesome job, but you know what, there's a little one coming on the way, and you, here's what we want to do. We don't want to just do it like, a lot of people just cut back and tighten things up, and Nicole, you can stay at home with the kids. No, no, how about we, how about, how about we just do more to create some extra income so that we can have the kind of options in the life that we want. Check this out, Greg Francis. Young and free at 31 years old. Corporate fast track, devastating the thing. Absolutely lighting the corporate world on fire, but also realize that, you know what, is there a lot of money in the corporate world? Oh yeah, but there's a package that goes along with it. It's not always just about money. How much time comes with that? How much do I own or not own my life? What kind of responsibility? All that, and you know what he decided, instead of pursuing the corporate package, he decided to create his own package and did more. Check this out, Bill, young and free at 29, kind of had a misspent youth, ended up in the army as an army ranger, but founded his and started his own concrete company, was making about a quarter million dollars a year, running his own business, but he also realized, oh my gosh, I got no time to spend with any of the people that I care about to enjoy all of this money, and I can't be doing this forever. I'm gonna break my back. There's only a limited time I can do this. Let's create a different way. Check this out. Maureen Young and Free at 28 years old. Maureen and Andy. Three kids, Trace, three kids, three of them, but instead of figuring, oh man, that well, we just have no time, man, well, how about this, how about we just do a little bit more to create the life we want to provide for our kids instead of settling and giving them the life that we can afford? Let me ask you a question. Five years from now, what do you want your life to look like? For real, like not the, the answer you give for job interviews or the parental answer or anything like that. Five years from now, what do you want your life to look like? I mean, just everything, not including just money, but I mean, let's start with money. Maybe you just want to be baller status. Fantastic. God bless you. Awesome. You want the nice, heart, uh, nice ca cars and the houses and all that kind of stuff. You know what? Maybe you just want to be able to have some extra money to give more. Give to mom. Hey, what what of this? Maybe it's not even you want a ton of extra money. Maybe it's just like, man, I just like a little extra breathing room. You know, I, I would love to just be able to have some, some cushion, you know not be so stressed out at the end of the month. Maybe it's a time thing. Maybe you just, all sorts of random stuff you want to do. I don't know, you want to go run with the bulls. You want to climb Everest. I don't know, you want to go to Europe and, and uh, try out, you know, just backpack everywhere. No time constraints, no schedule. Where are you going? I, I don't know. When are you coming back? I don't know, I don't even know where I'm going. Maybe you just want to spend time with the people that you want to spend time with. You spend time with them instead of the people at, wherever, you know, work or, or whatever. I, I don't know what it is. See, everyone wants more out of life. The real question is, are you in a spot right now where you're willing to do something to create a better life? See, that's the, that's the dividing line. It's as simple as that. Are you willing to do more or are you hoping for things to get better? 
it's no more complicated than everyone tries to make it more complicated. No, well, I'd like to do more, uh, but I'm just, I want to be careful. I want to be cautious. But that's not being an entrepreneur. How can you be an entrepreneur and be afraid to take risks? Isn't that the, by definition, like the opposite of being an entrepreneur? If you, if you always do what you've always done, you're always going to have what you've always had. So like, why not do something more? No, no, well, I want a better life, but I, I just want to wait for the right time, the right opportunity, things like that. But every second that it, someone's waiting, here's what's happening. Their life that they're living is going one way, and the life that they want to live is going in another. And every day, every week, every month, every year, the gap widens until you wake up and you're just like, oh my gosh, is this... Is this it, really? Like, is, this isn't what I thought my life was going to look like. Here's a litmus test for you. If you're not sure if what side of that line you're on. Because it's, it's really, you're on one side of the line or you're, you're, you're on the other. Here's a litmus test. When you see these young and free banners and all this, young and free at 28 and 22, obviously the first question is like, holy cow, what are these guys doing? <laughs> like, what, what are they doing? Here's the litmus test. Why are you asking that question? Are you asking because, well, maybe if what they're doing kind of seems interesting and might line up with something that might be interesting to me, and if the stars line up with the planets and the seventh house, then maybe we'll look more into it. And I'm telling you, like a friend, that sounds to me like curiosity. Like you're curious to know what these guys are doing or how they did it. And I'm telling you like a friend, you cannot build a foundation of being an entrepreneur on being curious. You can't do it. But if you ask that question, because I had no idea, oh my gosh, I had no idea that you could create options like that for you. How did they do that? How did they create options and results like that? Because I, I want the same results in my life. Then welcome to being an entrepreneur. You have now just decided that you are a doer instead of a hoper or a watcher. It's amazing when you decide that you want to do and create instead of hope for and watch. It's amazing how many opportunities just show up in your life. It's like the world tries to give you ways to do more. See, it's not enough to just want more. Go make life better. Young and free. See you on the other side.